Hey, buddy! There he goes. Tim's coming in. Definitely gonna be silent second. We'll be able to go through another kill onto the Ember Spirit. Well, that's feeling good. They're looking for Z Freak now as Abed comes in, joins the party, he wants to throw out the net. Z Freak going in with the cogs, trying to burn up some mana, but there's gonna be Swindles popping in with the Epi, but it's just not doing enough. Swindles no, busts his load and just sitting back. There's gonna be a shallow grave here, keeping everyone safe for now, but Swindles is gonna be outlasting that. And they're looking for more here as Limp. He's still gonna be able to do a whole oh. bunch of damage. That was beautiful there. Z Freak looking to turn this right around. Tim's gonna get slapped into place, and now Chemo gonna be one of the lone survivors of the Fight. Another nice cog there for Thief Freak, taking one too many tower shots. Abed is to go through and take out the scratch, looking for more. Look at the damage coming up from these poops. They're able to go in and Abed lives a hook shot connecting, but Nando should be able to get back into the high ground fairly safely. Meanwhile, there's a little bit of a one v one here. Tidehunter finding Chessie out. There's gonna be a remnant down to the low ground. They're looking for something here. The Meepos can be running away. Nando ticking after him. Has that negative earn charge coming in? There will be a Dream Coil coming back out. They want to get Swindles locked down. This is the Mephi to do so here. It's gonna get a really nice burrow strike. He's still up. He's still fighting, but not gonna live for long. And that's gonna be Abed going in. Some serious damage. Slim shows up that BKB. Can he actually get down the Meepos? Abed still fighting, throwing up nets every which way. And now Z Freak, he's still up. He wants to get something done. Battery assault, oh. not gonna up the Ravage comes back in RR. The hero his team needs. Z Freak wants the lone survivor, but Meepo. not for long. Oh, Meepo. Meepo. It's gonna be an O for Po, and they just blow up Chessy like it's nothing. He buys back immediately. This is the Hail Mary play right here. You've got Hanskin trying to do what he can, looking for a nice little weave there. They are able to go through, get a stun up to Abed. They go for the poison touch, but a triple man dream coil. It's looking nice for Puck. Let's just do things blink, and he gets on uh, the nice little souls. But Abed, he's getting low. He's got the Aegis. They're turning things onto Lim. There's nothing they can do about it. And then the Requiem comes out. The Ravage to finish everyone off. Everyone's dropping down to the grave. There's going to be no buyback on the Ember Spirit. No buyback on the Shadow Feed. This could be it. The Racks are under attack. Meepo is still up. Still fighting. Still has an Aegis. They're looking for everything they can possibly get. Swindled. There's going to be no Epic for him. Nice. Blink Strike comes back in. But oh gosh, they're going. They're looking for something here. And it's an ultra kill from Abed. Can we get the Rampage? Sand King, the lone survivor, scurrying back to his base, sitting in the fountain while everything all goes down. The rack going in, just laying into these towers. The full tire team looking to contest that rocket flare comes in. Jesse, he's waiting. He will get a nice steering chains on the three, though. Looking for something, but the rest of the radiant are now behind them. Tim's gonna be coming in. Jesse gonna get netted up. There's the global silence. This is gonna be the last hole to go in. Godlike streak down for the puck as well. Nando doing his work. Swindles to get locked in place. Burrow strike. Requiem, but it's not enough. Swindles tethered in place with the dream coil lift. Trying to get the camp around, but it's not gonna be enough. He's gonna be falling back to has one more buyback with the GG comes out complexity eliminated from TI6 execration take them out in an easy 2-0 they're gonna move forward in this racket but hey 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 buddy
No problem, some tools and a few strong backs can't solve. This smile's worth nearly everything I got. And they'll hold him at bay with that net there. Blink forward. Lasso already duck backed it off. Go. All black though with the fiend skip up on the bat rider. Pops Radiant forward there as well. Solo can do this flame break. But it is going to be the bat rider who is going to die to the ancient. Oh, that's not the ancient. No, he's not going to die at all. He's not going to die at all. Impale coming out. Mantis made maybe a bit too far forward. Nick's Assassin gonna get cold feet there as Solo is back in this. Still wants to go for the Bad Rider, finds him as well. Might be in some trouble because Denny is there with all the Meepos. Eclipse get dropped though. Hammer is down and uh, so is Mantis as well as the Crystal Maiden. Denny though jumps forward looking for someone. Can he actually. Oh, yes, he can! Yes, he can! How could I doubt that? He's already got a triple kill. He's gonna try to go for an ultra kill. The Meepos are coming in. These are five, four Meepos still. Got black brain cells, but it's not enough. In comes Yol with the impale, but he misses the lowest Meepo with that impale. There's already an ultra kill. The Denny runs. One of the Meepo runs. Can they still get him? He's gonna get a rampage on a Meepo. This is the day of ramp. He's being scouted out. Uh, Meepos are in the jungle. Meepos have chilling touch. Oh, God. All the Meepos have chilling touch. Oh, that is so scary. 
Nine snares. We, they know where he is. I mean, obviously the cloud kind of reveals where he is. There he, he is again, getting slowed. Pounces away. Looks like it's going to be enough for the moment, but they find Joel instead. Spike Carapace is going to help out a bit, but the net's going to prevent Joel from teleporting out, and the kill is still going to be there. And Solo actually came back here, blink forward from one of the Mepos. Goes for Solo still. The Dark Pact is there. A couple of hits needed. He is in the same time. He's already killed on Bane, but Solo is like. Normally, Go Black is, is one of the, the captains fallen. that is actually not afraid to call an early GG if he sees things are doomed, but he's still he's still expecting that they, they can turn this around. So, uh, thinking about what they could perhaps do to turn this around, like if they're waiting for one of the one big item or something, because item-wise, like Slark doesn't really have anything from the Dungeon Treads as he jumps himself inwards, gets himself a pounce upon Mantis, and Amazing Force taps himself out. But Solo is the one to be forced back again. Maybe they can get this hammer drop. They do get the Crystal Maiden, but at the same time, Slark, Nyx Assassin, Seed or Old Drop, BCC. He's gonna get last two there as well and will get picked up as well. That's gonna be only one hero left alive. It is the captain himself. And uh, Captain, you're nightmared and you're gonna die as well because there's no way you're gonna live through the hate of Nick Skeezy at this moment. There's the GG 25 minutes in the Meepo. The Meepo wins and it might see a ban in the next game. I mean, seriously. That is a attack! So they're trying to even the score the whole game through. Wow. I don't know if that's the recipe for winning, but it's definitely a recipe for revenge. Uh, this is net number one comes out, and now Yao's trapped. So they follow this one up. They're losing a tier two. Yeah, he's still split pushing. And honestly, they gotta either commit or back. You cannot just sit there and haphazardly peck away. In comes Sing Sing. They found out Lin. He doesn't have his BKB yet. It'll get defensively slept, but it's only for a moment. Then they doom the Enigma, so there's really no way out. No stampede to get them out safely. And now Cloud9 begin pursuit. DDC nearly bought, brought down. He'll go for the TP out. He can't find it. The Force Death connects, jams it in. And now they go for round two. Centaur looking to make his way out. He has a BKB, but he's tracked and he's slowed for ages and ages. It just doesn't have the damage to finish the job. Now Yao could be next. Envy uh, gets, a, gets juked. Then the blink TP. Rabbit's ready on the high ground. They're gonna try and contest this one, perhaps. But there's five Meepos in. There's the track on the as Enigma. Well. There's track. They know exactly what. They know what LGD are up to. They can see it the whole time. And sing. It's too late. Sing they want to jump it. in now. Can they jack the Aegis? In comes the black hole. The follow-up there from Rabbit, and they snatch the Aegis. The turn is real from LGD. The Meepos down. LGD find their opening. They knew it was coming, but they couldn't stop it. Cheese on the pit. Now Lin. Well, he's doomed. He's trying to stand his ground for the time being. He will go down. They lose the Aegis. Despite giving it up, they've lost five. And now, with the Aegis bringing him back to life, they'll lose him again. You got Meepo, but at what cost, LGD? It's not a good travel. He's literally pushing out all three lanes simultaneously and joining the fights. And goes Envy. He doesn't have Doom. This will force out a BKB from Lin. Another retreat from Cloud9. Well, do they commit to this push? No wards. Meepo's not here yet. They may poof it. Oh, the e blade e the follow up, But it's a nice black hole. Cancelled by a net. It was one second on the BKB from DD. He didn't have it when he went in for the hole. And it cost him his life. And now they look to get out. The Doom retreats. They hold serve for now, but it cost them a Centaur buyback. And it's just too many kills. They've got Trackle. Pressure on Envy now as well. They're playing a lost game and get upset about it and get all negative. Reset, go next game. and.